Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Uh, today, my bank never got the half dollars. They never came in. So I went to a different bank and picked up some customer wrapped stuff. So we have a, a whole bunch of things to go through. I have one roll of dollars, $25 worth. I have $100 in quarters. I think it was like 175 in dimes. Um, I want to say it was like $48 in nickels, something like that. 10, 20, 30, 40, $4 in nickels and $13 in pennies. So we're going to hunt these and see if we can pull out anything interesting. I'm going to start with this box first. I'm going to do the dollars, quarters, and then dimes, and I'll bring you in with any finds. Let's get into it. All right, the dollars didn't produce anything. No Wounded Eagle, no Cheerios, no Die Clashed, no NAFCs, no Wide Rim. So let's get into the quarters. Bring you back with any finds. All right, those 10 rolls of quarters have been hunted. We found four bicentennials. None of them with the DDO or the die clash. Our lower mintage, 2009 Virgin Island, 09 District of Columbia, 2010 Grand Canyon, a 2011 Glacier. I pulled this 2021 Washington Cross in the Delaware just because it was in nice condition. And then we have our Eras or Varieties. This is a Minnesota with the extra tree. This one is DDR number 11 on Variety Vesta for the 2005 Minnesota. If you wanted to take a look at that, it does have the die crack on the neck. Then we have our Broken Branch on our Weir Farm, Philadelphia Mint. I have this Marsh Billings that when I checked on In God We Trust, it looks like it's slightly doubled. If you look at the O in God, the G, the S looks thicker. So I'm going to hold this aside. Maybe at one point they'll consider this a DDR, I'm not sure, a DDO, sorry. And then we did find another Phantom Glove. So all in this area, right in here, inside here, and up in here, are all over abraded. We have a die chip on the pinky finger right here, and a decent sized die chip on the lower wing right in there so that's a cool find put this one aside and that's it for our quarters so let's get into the dimes i'm going to be mainly hunting for silver on the dimes just because it takes so long and it kills my eyes but i will bring you back with any finds bless you, Thank you. see you in a second all right the dimes are done. My eyes are sore. Not so many finds. We did get robbed, but at least it's a copper. We have a 1969 Philly Lincoln Cent. I did get two 1970D with the proof reverse. You can tell there's a proof reverse because of these extra lines in the torch. If those lines weren't there, it would be a normal reverse. So you can find those on 69s and 70s. I think it's just the 69D. I'm not 100% positive, though. But those are a proof reverse. And then we have this 1986 Philly with some crazy toning. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. The colors are awesome. Look at that. And that's not even doing it justice. I wish I could get a better better uh, view on it. But 
you get the picture kind of sort of look at that all right that's the dimes let me get into the nickels I'll bring you in with the fines all right let's get into the 22 rolls of nickels again I'll go through five 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 and I'll do those last two let's get into the first roll I'll see you after the first five rolls with the fines. All right, those first five rolls, we have our first foreign, a 1988 Confederatio Helvecta. And I'm not sure where that's from. It's a 20 cent piece. Looks like it has a mint mark. Looks like a D. And a 1941 Denver and a 1941 San Francisco. A really beat up, pitted 1948 San Francisco. A 1958 Denver. A really nice 1973 Denver. And a nice 1974 Denver. So let's get into the next five rolls. I'll bring you in with the fines. All right, those next five rolls, we have two fines. We have a 1946 Philly and a 1947 also out of Philly. We get into the next five, I'll bring you in with any fines. Those next five rolls, we have a 1940 out of Philly, and a 1953 out of Denver. Into the next five, I'll bring you in with the fines. All right, those next five rolls, we have a 1941 out of Den. I'm sorry, out of Philly, a 1949 also out of Philly. It's actually in pretty decent shape, and a 1954 out of San Francisco that has some lamination errors. So that's pretty cool. So we'll put this one aside as a find and an error. Let's get into those last two rolls and hopefully bring you in with some finds. See you in a second. Those last two rolls, we got one 1952 Philly. Let me set these up. I'll bring you right back. All right, here's our finds for the nickels. We have a nice 1973D and a 74D. We have our foreign, which is Confederatio Helvecta, which I have to look up, see which uh, coin this is. We have our 40s find, 1940 Philly, a 41 Philly, Denver, and San Francisco. We have a 1946 Philly, 47, 48 San Francisco, and a 49. Our 50s finds, we have a 1952 Philly, 1953, I believe that was a uh, Denver, 54 San Francisco with the lamination era, and a 1958 Denver. All right, let's get into the pennies. See you in a second. All right, let's get into the pennies. I have $13 or 26 rolls. And hopefully we can find something cool. Uh, DDO, cud, some wheats, maybe even uh, Indian, King George. But let's get into the first roll. And I'll bring you in with the fines. Probably go five rolls. See you in a second. All right, I just flattened out the first roll. We have a weedy staring at us. We have 1955 Philly. Definitely not the DDO. But roll one, one weedy. Let's keep going. 
All right, the first five rolls, we have a really rough shape 2009 formative years. A Canadian foreign 1976. A decent shaped 1968. And our 1955 Weedy. All right, let me get into the next five rolls. Bring you in with the fines. All right, just flattened out the first roll of the next five. And it looks like we have a 1950S. Sweet. I don't really find very many S mints, so that's pretty cool. All right, I did see two Canadians. So we have 1975. Wow, a 2011. Second to last year. All right, let me keep going. Bring you in with the fines. See you in a second. All right, those next five rolls. We have a 1975 Canadian. A 2011, which I can't believe that we found. And a 19... 50s weedy let's get into the next five i'll bring you in with the fines just flattened out the first of those five and we have a dime so we're nine cents richer 1977 all right let's keep going all right those last five rolls there we have a 1971S with some rainbow toning around the rim, which is pretty cool. You can kind of see it there. But that's all we found. A little bit of toning on the rim on that side, but mainly on this side here. All right, let's get into the next five rolls. I'll bring you in with the fines. Why is that not focusing? All right, so out of those rolls, I got one dime, 1977. So I have another five, year, uh, five rolls left. Let me get into those and I'll bring you in if I have any fines. All right, second roll in of these last five, and I just saw a weedy. And we have 1956 out of Philly. Let's keep going. All right, so those last five rolls, we have a 2016 with some cool toning. Some purples. We have an early childhood, 2009. Formative years, it's got some chewed up spots on it. Also a 2009. And our 1956 Weedy. All right, let me get all our fines situated and I'll bring you back in for the final wrap up. All right, here's our finds for our multi-denominational hunt. Up the top here, we have our bicentennials. We had four of them. We had that one nice condition crossing the Delaware. We had our errors with the die chip on the wing and the over abraded hand and sunglasses. We have this potential DDO, our extra tree, DDR number 11, and the broken branch, which you can see right up there, right where the barn starts. Then we have for our dimes, our toned 1986 Philly, our two 1970 Ds with the proof reverse, and we got shorted, we found a penny. 
for our nickels, we have our 40s, 41s, 46, 47, 48, 49, 52, 53, 54, and a 58. We also have a nice condition 1973D, 1974D, and our foreign. That co uh, coin is really cool. I like the design of that one. And then for our pennies, we have our toned penny, early childhood, formative years. We got two of them, three foreign Canadians in 1976. 75 and a 2011 a decent shaped 1968 three wheats a 1950s 1955 and a 1956 we found a 1971s and we found a dime so oddly enough in the dimes we found a penny and in the penny hunt, we found a dime. And that is it. So if you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, all I ask is that you subscribe. It's free. It helps me out. It helps out the channel. Uh, maybe hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. And please hit that like button. See you on the next one.